That's a pretty awesome view, isn't it? Look at that. We'll, we'll turn the uh, steering so it's in reverse. Oh yeah, the mighty ocean. Yeah, right. You got a lingcod. Ah! What was that? I'll get it. I'll get it. That's why you put a float on it. Okay, I'll get it. Oh, wait. I'm a little bit... <laughs> It'll be a minute. Is it connected? No, I'll get it. Oh, yeah. A nice link. Oh, man. Do you need a gaff? <laughs> You need something. <laughs> what you don't need is me banging into you. Oh, it's you. a big old cabbie. Oh, yeah. You can just pick that thing up, man. Yes. Got my cabbie. Got your cabbie. Yep, yep. Now remember now, I only have four. That's yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Dude. <laughs> Woo! That's a six pounder there. I'll get I'll, I'll get I'll get it. In a okay, okay. That's that's why you gotta float on it. Got uh, copper! Copper rockfish. Hold them up, Brian. No, you can keep them. You can have one copper Big in Big smile. Life. Hold them up, I'll get a good picture now. Yeah, good it got it.
Oh, good morning. This is probably one of the better days. I've been out here in a while as far as the ocean. It's flat, it's glass, glassy conditions. It's about, oh, about six o'clock in the morning. We're just paddling out. There's a group of us today. I don't know if you can see them back there. I'm gonna be using my phone pretty much the whole day. I don't have much on my uh, left on my SD card, micro SD card. It's about wiped out, used up. But uh, we can catch Cabazon now. So today would be a great day to catch a Cabazon. There's a guy I met out here last, oh, a couple days ago, and he's got a kayak for sale. It's called a Stealth. So for all you Hobie fans out there, I may be switching to a Stealth. Be a paddle kayak. The Stealth uh, 480 Fusion. That might just suit my needs a little bit more, a little better for fishing the ocean, especially being able to punch through the surf. I've got this bright idea that I think I can go catch salmon. Oh, out of Reedsport. Punching through the surf and then trolling with all the boats out there. So we'll see. Oh, anyway, looking forward to today. Just a relaxing day of fishing and hopefully getting on some big old cabas on and uh, taking you all along for the ride. Probably not going to be a lot of hype today or whoop, 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 but uh, we're going to have fun catching fish. So uh, if you're your first time finding Yak Ventures on the old YouTube deal, uh, I just want to welcome you. Thanks for checking this channel out. We do a lot of fishing in the ocean and then a bunch of other stuff. Anyhow, let's get rolling. Mm. You can smell that ocean air a mixture of probably the kelp and the foam from the waves. Check this out. Look, look behind me here. Look at that. Beautiful day. We can get... We can get close to the rocks today. We can sit right on top of the pinnacles or within within drop distance of sending that jig down. So I got my old go-to lure on. Everybody has their own personal preference. And uh, I really like these Lancer jigs. I am not sponsored by Lancer jigs, but when I find a good product, I like to uh, like to use them. Oh, Brian's back there somewhere. All right, we're gonna go to our first rock and see what's see what's down, what's living around that rock today. Yeah, turn you around. Yeah, it's uh, high tide or pretty much near high tide, so. Any of the offshore structure out here is gonna be covered up or just barely under the water. Oh yeah. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like the ocean. It probably helps that my dad took me out here when I was in diapers. He'd go diving and when he'd get done uh, with his dive, I'd see the air bubbles coming up and he'd come to the surface, take off his mask and hold his arms out. <laughs> and I'd jump in the ocean. This was off Southern California. Jump in the ocean in my diaper and swim to my dad. So I got my dad to thank me for the love of the ocean that I have. It's, it's real, man. I really love this place. All right, enough yakking, let's go fishing. There's all the fish on the graph right there, the old school blacks. This is about the third draw. Oh, see, yeah, boom, fish on just like that. Had one bit. Oh, there's one. All right, there's one. They're just, they're everywhere down there. Pace yourself, that's, that's, that's the name of the game. Pace yourself. Look for a big one. Yeah, we're not keeping those, but. It's about, it's about how big you can fit on your fork, right? There's 
Next cast, we got another one. Getting a little bigger. This one might be a keeper. Oh, they're getting a little bigger. Oh, yeah. Come here. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? I think we might have something we're going to finally put in the boat. Uh, they're all about the same size today so far, at least this school that we're working on. But I think we'll take him. That'll make a good filet, good fish taco. Look at the graph down there. Look at all those fish swimming. Oh, hey, got a, finally got a decent one. Yeah, the trick is you got to keep a small one and then you'll start catching the bigger ones. We're definitely keeping that hog. Look at that. So we could talk a little bit about technique. So I uh, figured out that the current's like bringing us offshore and uh, found a pretty good school of blacks on the graph and they're still there. They're hanging on a little bit of a drop off. You start to see him, let's see here, yep. Okay, you start to see him, see him coming onto the screen there. 63 feet of water, and it's gonna drop back down to 72, 74. I can spin the kayak around any time. I'm gonna spin it now and drop. So I'm sitting, that's about as close as I can hopefully get to landing on that pile of fish. Not a very big pile, but we're gonna go down there and you'll feel him tapping it on the way down. Tap, tap sometimes, and yeah, sure, you could hook him, but the goal is to get to the very bottom and hopefully pick up a lingcod or a cabazon. See, I missed the fish. I'm uh, a little bit farther, I'm a little bit south of them. But, I mean, they got tails, they swim. Okay, see, I'm over here, so I got to paddle over there. Yeah, we missed that drop. This is a, it's a pretty strong current this morning. It's nice to be able to be sitting on top of your lure, oh, right over the top. Here we go, we're coming on top of the fish. So that means they're underneath the kayak right now. That doesn't mean my lure is there though. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Spin. See, that, that's fish swimming. Oh, what is that? You got that noodle rod. Somebody's going to get a big ling cod today. Ah, there's a little bitty bass here. Oh, he just got off. Keeper? Ah. Yeah, this is one way to fill your freezer. Actually, I got the happiest neighbors in the world. I, I give away fish. Ugh. Come here, come to Papa. Look at that beautiful fish. All right, we got some of this peel. We got some peeling line. This is definitely not a black. I think I got my first ling cod here. This is a good one. Yeah, this is gonna be, probably gonna get the gaff on this. Oh yeah, I feel that. Oh yeah. Come on, what do we got? Oh dude, oh yeah. Woo, Megazon, Megasaurus. Well, he ain't that bad, he ain't that bad. I mean, he's good, but don't you flip that thing out. You ain't getting that thing loose. Man, we keep today. 
Yes, we can. I got a good one here. As long as he doesn't shake and rip my hand off. Look at that. Look at that. He wanted the Lancer jig. We paddled, paddled back up current to them that school of fish. We just picked up that nice link cod. Oh, we got another link cod. Hey, I got a blue one. It's not legal. But it's a fish. Come here. Here we go. Little snake. Go down Sawyer's Road. He says that's kind of the road that I I generally go. You know. Yeah. You got a link card! There he is. He's gonna snag. Oh no, he's snagged. You got a cabazon! Woo! Is it big enough? Maybe. So that school of fish moved off. And now I'm just breaking away trying to find another little rock pile that might have some more fish sitting on it. But I like to move around a little bit see what's out there oh i went to a ledge and i think i'm pulling a lingcod up it'd be my second one of the morning or if it's a keeper probably gonna let it go unless it's a blue one what do we got oh my gosh we're taking that all day that's a bat that's a black bass and a half wow ah, yeah look at that Look at that one. That's a rip lipper. That's a lip ripper. Ugh. Bingo. So like I said, this morning's drift is kind of pushing us offshore. So if you can click on my fish graft here. Yeah, look at my fish graft. We're going to get back over to these fish where I marked it at. There's some bait on the bottom there, probably. Coming up to the mark, see how the bottom's starting to come up, starting to get chunky? Nice good bottom, and then we got the rocks and jumble of structure down there. That's what the fish are relating to. Okay, I'm gonna go past a little bit. See how it starts dropping the other way. Oh, this is all good habitat. All good places for ling cod to be hanging out at. And the rockfish just spinned it off the rocks there. So spin her around and send her to the bottom. You can actually see my jig going down. You see that bubble line going down? It's kind of like at an angle. It, it's touched down. It's, it's hit. But the current is really bringing us this way. So I got to turn the kayak around so that I'm sitting over top of the lure. So I'm spinning around. Good way to lose your lure when you're at this extreme of an angle. Imagine hoeing your garden and snagging up on an extreme angle. But we're gonna go, look at that, it's way up there. That's some pretty good, pretty good current. Gonna get over the top of it now. Or look at that, all good structure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, breathe, breathe. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that black, man. Golly, five pounder. Gee whiz. 
that might be the jackpot winner. I got a couple big So the fish, the fish just showed up on the screen swimming around down there. I was fishing the lower half of the reef and getting drifting off of it. Now we're above it. We're going to come down through them. We should be picking up a black when this thing touches the bottom. You can see over here, I'm right between two marks that I've marked previously. Coming down, we're coming down. I don't know if we're going to... Sometimes you get to see it on here, but sometimes you don't. It depends on the angle of the dangle. Okay, we're slowing down. I think we've, we've touched bottom. No more lines coming off the reel. And I don't... Oh, fish on. We just got bit. Yep, we landed on him. There he is. Oh. 70 feet of water. There he is. Stick him. There you go. I think that's a ling. Kind of a heavy, heavy, like, slug. Slug. If it's another big black, that'll be exciting. Let's see here. What do we got? I think it's probably a black. It's coming up too easy. Oh, it's a black, all right. It's a jumby. Jumby. Ah. There goes my finger. It's going to be bleeding after that one. Look at that beautiful thing. Yeah, this is a good one. What are, I think it, I always say, I think it's a ling cod, but I, I was reeling up pretty fast off the bottom to move, and then all of a sudden it just got heavy weight. I think we got a ling cod coming up for the ride. No, these blacks are huge down here. I'm glad this one's going in the bucket, man. This one's going on the stringer. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Holy smokes. I don't know. I think it's a black. Boy, they're big around here. Look at this guy. All right. All right, there's the fish on the screen up off the bottom. We just picked up a pretty good black. I've only got one more rockfish I, I can keep to fill out my limit, and I maybe might end up getting a copper or a cabazon, so I'm trying to throw them back. Well, not trying. I am throwing the blacks back right now. Oh, yeah, this is probably a cabazon. Seriously. This thing, uh, <laughs> this thing's got some weight. Ugh. Oh. No, it's a ling cod that's been snagged in the gill. And that would cause anybody to fight pretty hard. There he goes. We're taking that one home. That's a big one. That is a big boy. Look at that. Look at that. Got a pile of fish over here. That thing choked it.
Woo! That thing's big, dude. <laughs> Oh, that hurt. So what we got here, we're looking for a lingcod. Come on, lingcod. I think it's a black. Wow, big old black. Believe it or not, I'm in 56 feet of water right off this pinnacle here, trying to pick up a lingcod. I just got a nice black. Got my limit of blacks already, my limit of rockfish. <laughs> That'd be the outlaw part in you, huh? Slow and steady wins the race, man. Here we go! Easy peasy, man! Catching right off this drop off goes from like 38 to 60. You can hear the rumble in the background. Day up. It was a great day. The lingcod bite was pretty slow. I ended up catching a one keeper and caught a couple smaller ones. I caught a lot of black bass, a lot of big black bass, 
released a lot of big black bass. Uh, one of my buddies got a got a really nice cabazon, real good cabazon, probably 25, 26 inches long. And uh, another buddy of mine is still trying to get some link cod, but we are gonna paddle in. We're not paddling. We're gonna pedal in and call it a day. Beautiful day on the coast. We were. I was able to get right up against the rocks. Check this out behind me here. I'll turn the kayak. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah, I was able to get right up against the rocks. I think I got some good video footage of almost touching some of the rocks. Just uh, playing in the waves. Beautiful day on the Oregon coast. Anybody thinking about vacation in here? There's state parks. And uh, get yourself a kayak and come on out in the ocean. It's, it's a blast. All right, thanks for watching Yak Ventures. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, share it with all your friends. Uh, there's nothing better than coming out here on the ocean and uh, playing in the kayak and catching a few fish and uh, sharing fish with your neighbors and friends and, and just uh, enjoying this beautiful resource we have. Until next time, everybody have tight lines.